Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn something very easy and very interesting and that is how can we record our web driver IO tests. Until now we have been creating our tests manually. We create a, a JavaScript file then we add the describe block and then we add the it block and then we manually add all the test scripts. We manually find all the locators for the objects and uh, we have been doing this way until now but today we are going to change all of that. We are going to record and we will get all our scripts generated, all our selectors, object locators generated automatically. So this is going to be very interesting. Uh, let's get started. And uh, we are going to use the Chrome web browser and we are going to use the Chrome recorder for this. So let me show you. If you go to your Chrome browser and if you go to uh, these three dots at the top here and click on this and go to more tools, and you will find a option for developer tools. So if you go here and more tools, you can see developer tools. In case you do not find this, you can just go to any web page and do a right click and click on inspect. It will take you to the developer tools. So you can see this will open the developer tools like this and it may open uh, at the bottom of the window or on the side here like this. And here, again, if you see there are these three dots, these three dots here, and if you click here and go to more tools, you may find a option. Let me show you again. If you click on these three dots and more tools, you can find a option for recorder here. So here it is recorder. And in case you do not find it here, you can again go to these three dots and go to run command and start typing recorder. And you will see this option show recorder and if you click here, it will take you to this recorder panel. Now, just in case you do not find the recorder option, that means that you are using some very old version of Chrome. In the most more recent versions of Chrome, this recorder is already there. So just in case you do not find it, you can update your Chrome browser. So here you can see, I can start a new recording here. I have also added some steps so that it will be handy for you and I will keep all these steps, all the notes and all the links in the description of this video. So we have already done this. We have opened the recorder. These are the two options that we can use. And now we can start new recording and we can then record our test. So before that, let me uh, first go to the application that we are going to use. So I'm, I will go to this, the internet login application. This we have used in the earlier session as well. So here, this is a login page. This is the link. I will add a username, add a password. You can see the username is Tom Smith. The password is super secret password and then click on login button and we will record this. And I will show you all the options. How can we can edit the recording? How can we add and delete steps? So let's start and click on start new recording. Here, the first thing is I have to give some name. So I will say my first recorded test you can give any name here and then click on this start new recording and you can see it has already recorded the very first step to go to this application and then i will add the username i can also just copy this username and paste it here you can see as i am copying and pasting i am pressing double uh, I'm doing double click and then uh, using command and v or control v keys all that is getting recorded here similarly i will select the password copy it and paste it here and click on the login button and it is recording everything and it has logged in now let's say i will click on log out and you can see it has recorded the clicking of the logout button as well after you have recorded all your steps click on end recording here so i click on end recording and you can see all these steps are recorded now to replay you can go to this replay and there is also this drop down for more options for replay. When I go here, we can set the pace. Do you want to replay in the default speed or slow, very slow? So based on your network, you can select the speed. As I select the speed, you can see it has started the recording or you can directly click on the replay button. So it uh, adds the username, adds the password, clicks on the login button. And then it will now click on the logout button. You can see this is in progress and uh, this is taking some time. So I will show you how you can fix this in case you see some, uh, some action is taking some time or there is some error, how to fix that. So here 
uh, you can also see replay settings. So if I go to replay settings, I can set the network like fast 3G, slow 3G offline. And then here is a timeout. This is in milliseconds. So if I say uh, 5,000 milliseconds, that means five seconds. So if you want to set timeout, you can do it here. So let's go to the logout step and you can click here and it will expand. You can see this is the type is click and here are the selectors for the logout uh, button. So here uh, you can see there are multiple selectors here. And let's say I just want to use uh, one of these. I just want to use this one. So I can remove these other selectors. Okay, so I just have a single selector. I will now try to replay again and see if this time the logout, the click on logout is faster. So it has started at the username, adds the password and clicks on the login button. And yes, this was faster. It has already clicked on the logout button. So you can fix like this. And then uh, if you want to change uh, any locators, you can do that by, let's say, uh, here is the login button. And you can see all these, all these selectors that I used to find the login button. And if I want to change it, or if I want to add my own, I can do that. I can also click on this arrow. You can see this one, this arrow, and then I can go to my application and then click on the element. You can see as I do that, it will automatically generate the selectors here. So we can do like that as well. And uh, if I have to add any more steps or delete steps, I can click on these three arrows and can say add step before, add step after. So you can see I add step before, add step after, add breakpoint, remove step. So let's say after clicking on the logout button, I will add a step to check the login button is present. So here you can see it has added a step and here in the type, I can select the action. It is click, double click or whatever it is. Scroll, close, close will close the browser. I will go to wait for element. And here to find the element, I will again click on this selector arrow and select my login button. And you can see it has created the locators of the login button. And I'll just use, I'll just use a single locator like this. If you want, you can also add a timeout. So we can manually also add these steps. So let me just try to replay once more and check if it has also added the new step that I have added just now. So it logs in, adds the username, adds the password, clicks on the login button. And now it will click on the logout button. And then it should check the login button is present. And yes, everything is in green. So everything is fine. Now uh, here, before we export this for WebDriver IO, let me also show you, we have got this performance panel, performance panel and performance insights panel. If you click on this, it will replay and then sh also show you the performance of your application. So you can see the network bandwidth, everything you can see. So if you want, you can try this out. But now we will go to the next step. We have already done step number four and uh, five we can we have already seen now we will uh, import or export the steps so we have to export the steps for our web driver io so if you look at this export button or the down arrow i can click on this and here i am getting some options i am getting options for export as a json file export as a puppeteer replay script or export as a puppeteer script but we need for web driver io and for that you, we will have to uh, get the Chrome extension for WebDriver IO. So I will go to my Chrome uh, web store and here on my Chrome web store, I will search for WebDriver IO and this should show me the Chrome extension for WebDriver IO. And yes, here it is. So click on this and click add to Chrome and add the extension. And you will see this extension is added here. If you don't find the icon here, you can click on this icons uh, extension icon, and then you should find it here. So here is my WebDriver IO Chrome recorder. Now I will go back to my uh, script, my recorded script. 
if I go, I'm still not able to see this. So I will have to open a new tab. And then again, I will go to the Chrome Dev Tools, and your uh, recording will be preserved. So you do not have to worry on that unless you delete your recording, it will be here. So you can see my first recorded test is here. And now if I go to this drop down, uh, this uh, export option, you can see we have got an option for web driver IO, export as web driver IO test script. So I will click this and I can give any name and it will, I will save it. As of now, it is saved on my Mac because I have opened this browser on my Mac, but I will show you how to use it in, on, in your project. So if I just take it from here, so here it is. If you are on Mac, you can directly go to your VS code and open it there and add it in your project. I will just go to my Windows system and here is my project that we have been working on, our WebDriver IO project. And I will just paste it here under the, under the specs folder or I will first just paste it here. on my desktop and then I will add it to my specs folder under my project. So I can drag and drop or just create a new file and then I can add the code. Howsoever you want to add it, you can add it and you can see it has come here. My first recorded test and this is the script. And now you can see it has generated our entire script. We did not have to manually do anything. Uh, all our test scripts, locators, everything is generated. And one more very uh, important thing here is uh, a lot of functions that we have not learned until now, we can see how to use them in this recorded script. For example, here it has set the window size. We had not done this until now in our session. So you can see the window, how to set the window size. Then after going to the browser, after going to the URL, if you want to check the URL, you can assert the URL using the expect keyword here. Then uh, we had done some key press and key down and key up uh, actions, all that is recorded here. And here it is adding the, the username. And then here it is adding the password. If you want, you can edit this. You can delete the unwanted steps, all that we can do here. And then it is clicking on the login button and then all this is done. And if I have to check this, I will have to run this. So I will go to the terminal. And here is my terminal. So here I will say npx wdio run. And then I will say wd and press tab. It will auto complete the config file name. Then I will uh, say hyphen hyphen spec. And then I will go to the test folder, spec folder. I'm just typing the first two letters and a pressing tab so it will auto complete and then I will go to my first recorded test and then I will hit enter and let's see if it runs our test. So I have opened this project again that's why it is taking some time initially but once you have executed one test it should be faster so it has started the testing. Uh, the test is getting executed now. And let's see, yes, it opens the browser and it enters username, enters password. And yes, everything is fine. Uh, it is saying one failed because of maybe some issue. Uh, yeah, log out with strategy CS selected. So some issue with that, but we can fix that later. But we were able to uh, export our test, get our scripts generated, and we were able to run it in our WebDriver IO project. And here you can see this link. Uh, this link, you can see all the extensions available for this Chrome recorder. So we have used the Chrome recorder and then using the extension for WebDriver IO, we were able to export it. And similarly, if you get the Cypress extension, you can export it as a Cypress script. Uh, then we have Nightwatch, Puppeteer, etc. So using the Chrome recorder, we can export in all these different formats. I hope this was useful and you can try some more tests. And if you have any questions or any messages for me, you can let me know in the comment section below. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.